Welcome to Binary Domain, a game that everybody knew about but nobody played. Even if, you. Yeah, I didn't even play it until now. Much. I got it on a Steam sale for like fourteen dollars. No, you didn't it. play it until just today. That's weird. Hey, so if you notice that Faye's uh, trust is lower than it was last time, literally no one would notice. Yeah. But thanks for pointing it uh, out. And th- these two, those two guys, Charlie and Rachel's, are higher than they were last time. That's because I actually replayed the entire game up until this point. Those two luscious ladies, Charlie um, and Rachel, because I discovered uh, later that endings are contingent oh. on trust, and I was able to get this the skill of trust effect. enhancement. Yeah. Which increases okay. trust by 5%. What does it mean by more readily? Does it mean faster? It's readily is the most Japanese to English translation so, ever. So it could mean one of two things. Readily. It could mean you get a 5% boost on the amount of trust. Mm. Or it could mean that trust interactions are 5% uh, more likely more, to happen. Yeah. Oh, more likely to... Mm. That second one is way better. Yeah, okay. But uh, who knows? <laughs> It's 5% is still 5%. Oh, I also changed all of Dan's upgrades. Now, nobody has upgraded guns but Dan, but Dan has m- super guns. Okay. So, you know what I was thinking about? You're like, oh, it all... You're not in a situation where trust what? should be Something an issue. Bad. You're all supposed to be on this... It's not like you're a bunch of enemies that became a team. You know what I mean? Like, this would be good for if you're all criminals. Or like, you're criminals and and good guys. You're supposed to be trusting each other! It's part of the deal. Yeah, so it just seems like a weird thing. I mean, it's a cool addition, I guess. so that's... I think that's kind of why, um, by the end of the tutorial, you end up hanging out with Big Mo a lot. And Big Mo... His, look at look, 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 like, look at this, look at this trust that just big wow, spoon that flew up. Did you notice that? Yeah, he loves it. Um, because Big Bo loves me, and I love Big Bo. The only thing Big Bo loves fucking more than fucking goddamn it, Bo. Oh, fuck. The only thing Big Bo loves more than a game over right is. <laughs> oh, I need Killing your help. Robots. I need your help, Big Bo. Give me your help. What are you stuck, stuck on, on your knees? knees? Yeah, it looks like you can get yourself killed. He, Stay calm. Oh. And don't ah. Can your trust go down with yeah. them? Yeah, I hope so. Cause that's that you should be able to trust them less after that exchange. What the fuck was I talking about before I got blown up? Big Bo loves you. Oh, Big Bo loves you, and that's like, oh, they're old pals. So it mimics that. Yeah, that's that totally makes sense. But remember, when we run into Charlie, Rachel, and Faye. Dan and Bo are totally weird assholes to everyone. That's true. And so is Charlie. And Rachel barely says anything. I was gonna say, what a missed opportunity. I would love it if Charlie was renamed to Ross. Like, from Friends? Yeah. Oh, it's these assholes. And you just be talking to them and they're like, I didn't want to be on a mission with her because we're on a break. We're very much on a break. No, we're not. It wasn't a break. You said we were on a break, Rachel. So since I was watching Jersey Shore, oh, one God, character hey, goes, we're on a break, God, and then one the hour ass. later sleeps right, with someone. I mean, that's a good time. I mean, but one hour. That was... And the person that said we're on a break was the one at fault. That was, uh, that was planned. That was set up beforehand. Oh, I'd imagine most, most, uh, most, uh... Hey, what time is this? Uh, okay, I'll swing by and go on a break. Yeah. That's not what going on a break means, Ross. So, hey, listen. Ross, they were on a break. I they refuse. Were on a break. Uh, that's, that, arc, I will fight someone to the death on that shit. But that I take the Rachel shit at his own wedding. That's that's fucking nefarious. That's yeah, no, horrible. that's a super villain. Right also, there. Emily was way hotter in every way and better than Rachel. I wouldn't British. say she was more attractive, but she was overall oh, not I got, as I got, horrible. I got nothing for Jennifer Aniston but to stay. No, neither do I really. Looks but like um, a gigantic holding tank. It's a holding tank for poo. They're not using it right now. Yeah. The the I'm black lady that Ross slimy? then comes with later is the hottest of them all. I don't even remember that episode. She she worked at the museum that Ross worked at, oh. and she was just completely normal person that wasn't like a weirdo Friends character. Oh god, that's always the weirdest shit. I still forget when fucking Phoebe is like, sure, my brother, 
I'll have your children for you. Oh my god, I forgot about that. Giovanni Ribisi needed the unobtainium and he put it in fucking Phoebe's uterus. That's weird. Oh, cause and it, you know he was fucking. Do you know who the woman he was with? That was Kitty. It right? was Kitty from the '70s show. Oh God, because she was too old. She for was like babies. fifty. Oh, this is a weird storyline. And, and then, and then Giovanni Ribisi is like, like his character's kind of a weird drug addict. It's unclear. It, so oh. he, he ex oh man, that's the weirdest thing. It's like, oh damn, leave some for the rest of us, huh? I remember, she had like we triplets. Got the bonus situation to think about. Hold on a second. My bad. Hey, don't mean okay, I good. want to do all the work. I know, Bo. We have to pay. Now that you've now that you've told this stuff about the endings, like we have to actually pay really close attention. We can't. We got to think about it. Even though it's Big Bo talking to us, it's like don't just say whatever. My bad. You got to think about it. Like so, I, you ever yeah, watch Rick and so. Morty at all? Yeah, yeah. You know the fucking episode where they get trapped in the fucking in, in the VR planet? Yeah, yeah. You know that fucking mailman that just goes, my man. Yeah. Like I feel like. Me talking to Big Bo is like that. Okay, there's this legendary promo where Booker T in WCW, like, 94, is talking to Sting, and it's pre-Crow Sting. It's fucking Surfer Sting. Oh, I hate Sting. that version of Sting. Nah, that Sting's fun, too. But I, I still prefer Crow Sting. But, um, uh, uh, <laughs> Booker T says something again to, It's on, like, neck bone, sucker. So, of course... Sting just says a random assortment of jive talk. Just talk. And then he just goes, straight OG brother, am I right? Oh Which is God. not a response to what Booker T just said. He's just like, oh, blackity black talk, right? Oh, man. And it's like Sting is the whitest man of all time. Sting is so white, he put himself in double white face. <laughs> And you know what that is, right? It's like uh, Scott Hall said to Vince McMahon, hey, I got this great character where I go, I'm the bad guy. And Vince had no fucking clue who or what Scarface was. He's like, oh, you're cutting edge. This must be oh, That's amazing. Yeah. So then Scott Hall told Sting, say, you just rip off the crow. Just do it. Yeah. It'll work. Vince doesn't know anything. Well, it didn't matter Vince at that point. Have, but. This is Charlie. Hey, Charlie. Hey, Darn! What's your twenty? Some kind of um, am I crazy, or I'm was his way. hair dark brown Please. before? No, it sure crap. was. No, it's ahead. the lighting. I'm going back for the others. Are you crazy? We gotta keep moving. Look, you're the advanced team now. Just go. See, this is one of those tricks for the trust, trust thing. Oh, in it's which a trick. You you come hang out with Faye and Bo because they have the highest trust, and the game gives you so much time to make trust with them. It's crazy. You know, you know, the slight problem with Big Bo is is that he's not like. He's not like an 11 in terms of Coltrane is an 11. Coltrane lives his gimmick. Yeah. Whereas Big Bo is like a 7 well, or big, an 8. I, I had all. Wait, you guys aren't leaving? No. You guys are, in fact, glitching into the floor. Oh, and wait, are they floating? They are, they are not supposed to be there. They rid the elevator up in that cutscene. Forge on ahead. Um, Maybe you gotta get a bit of close. But Bo has there. a secret gimmick. Oh, yeah? In that I, this was an assumption. I saw other people saying it in the comments, but my assumption was that, because uh, his name is Botang, and I'm yeah, super yeah. unfamiliar with that name. Me he too. also has hazel eyes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that he is totally Chinese. Or at least, like, half Chinese. Yeah. I'd, and that's I'd why imagine. he's playing up, like, cool American black guy so much. It, but where did he grow up, though? He grew up in the States, I he thought. He grew up in American China. Mm. As seen from the Yakuza's. Okay. This sucks. Uh, I'm doing very poorly. Yeah. You should just run on ahead and take all the firepower into your chest and just melee, yeah. Yeah. Christ. Now I'm just no, actually just in. going no exactly out. back where I came from. We're on a break. No, you're not. <laughs> It'd be funny if they're out, like like on robot duty and one of them is just like I'm on break. I'm on break from this. I robot wonder if on military ops do they take breaks where they're just like you know not like setting up the camp for the night and like moving out at the crack of dawn. I mean during like a fight or just like patrolling, the ones like ah, I'm taking a smoke. And that's how missions get fucked up to me. In, uh, it, not only do I not think that's the case. Even if that was the case, yeah. the absolute last thing it would be would be taking a smoke. 
Oh, and, I just use that as an example. Well, the reason the anything. reason why I'm like reacting so strongly to that is having a cigarette in uh, like on your your chill time in a war is the easiest way to get your head blown off ever. That's true. Uh, in fact, the most uh, if I remember correctly, the number one sniper shot ever was done by a Canadian guy out in Afghanistan. No, it was American Sniper. No, it was Canadian guy. No, it must have been American Sniper, because there was a big movie about him. No. Why would they make a movie called Canadian Sniper? Because it would be boring and polite. <laughs> um, yeah, but, every time he headshots and, like, blood and, and brain matter go everywhere, he's like, sorry, eh? Sorry. Oh, so. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, the reason why is because it, it's like, uh, it was the middle of the night, okay. I was like two kilometers away, yeah, yeah. and guy just went out for smoke. And it's right. like, in the middle of the night in the desert, a fucking cigarette might as well be a bullseye. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. Because it's in your mouth! Yeah, too. Like, it's true. It's like, That's true. don't smoke at war. We're two kilometers away, it's like that opening scene in the Punisher Netflix show where he shoots a sniper rifle and then takes a, a cigarette, and then two minutes later, the guy's head blows up. <laughs> That's Because he's so fucking far away. Oh, man. Amazing. I gotta drink this shit. Time to switch to the robots guns. So that's that's the trick I discovered for the ammunition shenanigans. Yeah, because you haven't been picking up any robot guns. Yeah, that's correct. I just picked up some kind of note that I don't care about. Robot this. guns. Hey guys, what's going on? Technological robots. We'll drown unless you do something. So they're they're trapped out there. Okay, well you're trying, okay? Stop the water. The water now, the water's not a robot. Why do we have to defeat the water? Fucking. Because you're gonna drown? Oh, wait, are they down in the pit? Yeah, a little bit, yeah. Okay, that makes more sense. God, then. I'm taking a lot of damage. Why we have We're to gonna stop take a second here. That robotic water. It's kind of, That's kind of different, that red damage around your uh, screen. Yeah. It fades to a yellow. I've never actually seen that before. Yakuzis. Uh. Yeah. yeah, like in a third-person, like, American-style game. Now, the fun fact about this is eventually I'm going to get to an elevator, and the elevator is going to have what I think is actually infinite enemies. I uh, don't... Well, what were we playing uh, when we were like, hey, there's... I think there's infinite enemies in here, and everyone's like, no, there's not. There's no such thing in that game. Or it's infinite enemies. Well, it's Call of Duty, clearly. Yeah. Uh, Remember that time we played Call of Duty Modern Warfare on the channel? Just go back in the playlist. Find it. I did play one, but I forget which one it was. You played fucking the shittiest one. No, I played the one with the Predator. That's the shittiest one. Wasn't it a World War II one? Remember World at War? What about that one? World at War is decent. Oh, I don't know. I could not know less. I know. I know you couldn't. Well, then we played that other one. It was a one-off one we played. Remember where you kept dying in the multiplayer? That would have been Advanced Warfare. Two? No, one. I think. No, Advanced Warfare is the fruit. <laughs> <laughs> we were not listening to our compatriots. Oh, hell no, we were. Oh, this really started me back quite a ways. Oh, no. Oh, no. So, I, uh, I did not realize that... I guess you have to flip a switch or do something. Well, I guess this whole sequence is timed. At least until you get into the next room. Oh no! We're locked in! What? There's no way Like, out. you guys are idiots then. If you need me and Bo to save you... Yeah, you need Yankee Doodle to come fucking yeah, save you. Yeah, we're just slinging our Yankee Doodles around. Showing you how it's done, Britain. Oh, they were drowning. Okay. Yeah, that's what I thought, that there was no actual timer to let us... We've managed no, we to avoid drowning. We should have. We have to pay attention to what they're actually saying. But uh, when the British accents go flying, our brains kind of turn off. It's really funny to us. <laughs> He's gone berserker. Yeah, that that's actually stupid good. Yeah, well, once you upgrade it, okay. Well, after you pay attention. Yeah. The main thing is that like when you first get it, it's not strong enough to kill outright in a single shot. But then you upgrade it, and it's super. I'm is. always a big fan of force guns that shoot force, just pushing. Yeah. 
I, I can get that. Man, I you just fucking sit the fuck down, man. I, I'm kind of somewhat ashamed that I got really, really hyped for Force Unleashed when it was first, like, announced slash shown. Why? And, Cause I, cause I was like, oh yeah. It looks super cool. Yeah, but then when it actually came out, I never played it. Like the first time I played the first one is when we did Star Wars fucking week. Oh yeah. The fucking Wii version of Force Unleashed Two is like the best one. What? Yeah, I know. Are you high, sir? I know. I played it and I was like, this is actually really good. It is stupid. That is a disappointing well, fucking video game. Mm. Reaching critical level, but it still won't stop. Fucking hey, fuck. Uh, hey. That, does that pad do anything? Is that like a button? No. Maybe that, you're just supposed to rush through this and get to the top. That pad does this. Okay. And then you you level ah oh, you got. Oh okay. I gotta hurry. I gotta Christ. save. Is it there some way out of here? I gotta okay, just run up this. I gotta save do. Rachel and, and Ross. And Ross. Oh fuck. Maybe it's in that control room. Maybe it resets the timer like based on how like you moving up. You know what I mean? Like every time you reach a new floor, it give you a bit more time. Amazing, I'm shocked really. Absolutely brilliant, Sergeant. I think yeah, you're making progress. They love this. Hey! Yeah, they somehow are making it. I got a physical enhancement. Good, the juice. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Use the diskettes. Operate. Use the diskettes. Operated it. Discs were made by computers to help us. Guys, I did it. I've saved them from drowning. All the tension. That seemed really easy the second time when you knew that there was a time limit. Yeah, it's funny how much it's talking not. about friends can ruin your day. <sighs> You're a lifesaver, Dan. See, oh, now, big trust all the time. Say big trust ups. This is Dan. Mission accomplished. Heading back your way. Did you just clip through the floor? Nice. Uh, whatever. Hold on. Don't worry about them. I just got some kind of special nano boost. Let's see what the yeah, fuck that is. Yeah, it's a friendship. Is. Oh, auto repair. What, is, what the fuck do I have equipped? Auto repair. I have trust enhancement, you face help, Chevy. and defense. Uh. Right? Okay, that sucks. What is this? Muscle Melee power. attack power? Who gives a shit? Muscle docking. Health by 10%. Get in there. Yeah. Get fucking in. Health recovery by 10.2 times Recover the normal more rate. Recover of it. Oh, now I can't do it. I might as well get that melee thing up. Yeah, because you music. melee way more than you should. <laughs> yeah. But probably not as much as you don't. Look, Soldier Boy. And I really mean it this time. Thanks, Fag. I love Soldier Boy's music. Unscathed. We'll see you here. See, they, they got no problems. What the, they're going nuts down there. Yeah, they're, am I they're... supposed to go back down? I guess I am. Oh. What was that, Sergeant? Nothing! Dude, when I played Kingdom Come, one of the first things that happened is I jumped like four feet and I broke both my character's legs. It's the most fucking... Games that do that... Come on, don't do that. I was playing a really shitty horror game, like, like <laughs> fucking, like, uh, um... Jim Sterling bait. Oh no! Uh, sexy serial killer. And you. Oh yeah, he made show. a video on that. Yeah, it's played in the first oh, the person two. perspective. And I jumped down oh, like three floors, ahead. and I'm like this Figured weird, like, you guys like hopeless dad. And so he jumped down in a superhero paper. pose. It's fucking weird. Typical. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Bring it back to Witcher Three. Oh, you disobeyed protocol. Thanks Typical. I really don't I want to die. Did I disobey protocol, saving your British ass? No problem. Damn it! To go action, Who would go? Sure. Damn it! But not here. I saved Anywhere's you. Anywhere's better than this. You fool. Okay, let's get moving. You should have been able to say you fool. I really want to you get fool. out of here. You fool! My bad. Damn. Like you're just complaining to the British. It's like, yeah, that last season of Black Mirror wasn't as good as the rest, and they're like, we're well, sorry. You fool! We're trying our best. I love that comic strip that I seen on Twitter, where it's a guy is like, you're a computer, and he's looking at a computer. And the computer says, no, you are. And the guy goes, ah! And That's then it says every episode of Black Mirror. Every single one. <laughs> oh, no, the best one was like, Black Mirror is written by one drunk British guy who just wanders around muttering stupid shit like, it's what if your mom there. ran on batteries? <laughs> <Race> <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's pretty similar. Oh, <laughs> I thought it was going to be a giant fan robot. 
Like, like, Airman. All right, like he has thanks. a big fan in his chest. -y. Okay, what is the point of these being, like, monkey-like? Like, what is that function? Uh, to clean up the sewers. I guess. <laughs> well done. Thank you. Thank you. So I'm noticing, uh, what kinds of things get the trust to go up. It's double kills. It's it's kills without uh, reloading. That's weird because it that, melee kills. That uh, rewards bloodlust, or like I don't know, bolt lust, reloading. metal lust. I don't know. You're trying, dude. I'm trying. Kind of reminds me of the fucking flippity floppity robots in MGS4. Right. The ones that are inside. just the balls and the uh, the the hands. Yeah, those fucking. Weirdos. I forget what they're called. They're called handball. Handball. Don't fuck tell me what to do. I'll smash all these robots. Smash is good. So the here's a, here's a here's a good place to talk about friends. Is it? Oh yeah. So here's the deal, right? Yeah. Walking over to help them. Is not what you want to do. What do you mean? See, Rachel and Ross. Charlie here, Ross Charlie, are the near universally most disliked party members in this game. I uh, they're gonna say of like a video game. Ever. Yeah. So what you do <laughs> Man, they are not getting in the thick of it, are they? Hell no they're not. So what you do is you do this shit. To farm trust. Farm trust. As when you go with them into this area. Like, they're like, you're a coward. Yeah. So, like, the this shit, this will never stop. The, the, this like, is this infinite. is actually infinite. Um, and you can use it to farm their trust and then never hang out with them again. Nice. Okay, I see. Right. Oh. That's really weird, because you'd think that after a while they'd realize they're getting played. I like, is he farming trust? I can't fucking believe it, for reals. Trust go- yeah, it sure is. Is, so. is he just shooting robots for our benefit? See, you see that? You see how they were like, oh my god, I can't believe he killed them all. He's so fucking strong. Get in the fucking elevator! This oh, it's so impressive! The state of our trust, mate. Charlie loves that I'm dilly dallying. And or shilly shallying. This is also a really good time to do this because I'm like... These other... robots are also super weak. They're super weak, but also uh, they aren't going to move and the robots all come from this direction. Which so means, they're not going to get hurt, really. Which is a constant fear, particularly with Big Bo for some reason. Big Bo loves to get in the way. Well, that, that's his style. That's his, uh, death style. Oh, I knew it. I knew you were gonna say that. Mm. So it's you easy to say that after I've said it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, fuck. So, fuck. What, what trust level do you want to get this fake trust up to? I don't know! It's going- oh, it's going faster than I thought. Uh, it's like two and a half. That shouldn't be too tough. If we forget about friends- oh, god. Yeah, oh, that's okay, what I was that's saying. That's why. You, okay. Uh, it's a good time to talk about friends. Yeah, no, that I, I cuz I was rewatching some random friends when I was in the states and like uh, I was just on TV and I was like I'll fucking watch friends. It's fine. And then I'm like, "What? Oh my god. Yeah, I forgot about that. That creepy brother sex so, thing." So yeah, that Phoebe. was a thing that I was saying and I forgot. But the creepy brother sex thing is one of the weirdest because he he exhibits all the common signs of being a huge drug addict. Yeah. But it has never actually gone into as to whether or not he is a huge drug addict. I think Giovanni Ribisi has played a lot of drug addicts in his day because all he needs to like is put some red under his eyes and he's like, oh, I'm a drug addict. Yeah, I, I just have one that, of those. He has that cadence and that's. I just uh, have one of those drug addict faces that just works like that, you know? <laughs> But yeah, no, I completely forgot about that. So if we take these two on, like, one more mission ever, after I get these guys up to whatever, it'll be fine. Ah, fucking Christ! No, they're too, they're too fast and robotic. 
for you. I bet you're fucking shocked. Yeah, you get that double kill and they love it. Wait, what? It's weakening? The enemy is weakening. And stand tall. Yeah. Stand tall, Sergeant. You must, Nature con boy. you must continue to shoot these monkey robots that we are telling you not to shoot. But we see how well you're shooting them, and we love that. So if anybody thinks that this part of the LP is boring, that's fine. This is part of the binary Did domain experience. This will make it less Dude, boring. Do we just shoot off the side? It looked like it. Oh, this man. will make it less boring later, is what you're saying. It's when we don't have to hang out with these British losers. <laughs> yeah. So these, these robots don't have any of the fucking hitbox porn that all the other enemies have. I bet not. Oh, what hole are they coming out of? I just realized we're coming, coming out, out of the fan hole. Oh, right, the fan hole. Big what fan the hell? of that fan hole I am. No. Also, this is getting... I can't believe that your trust is not going down. I know, right? Because they're screaming at you to get into the elevator. They have to go to the bathroom real bad, and you're, like, not going. Please. Oh, yeah. God, Dan. I'm gonna shit. Our bladders are filled to burst. They are. They are now shooting me with frustration. They hate this so this much. This like I only have so much vocabulary. I can only say dilly dallying. Oh man, is that the worst translation decision ever made in Advent Children? No. Dilly dally, shilly shally. No, it's like the most memorable part of Advent Children. But what about that part that Sephiroth showed up to be the generic anime villain that he wasn't originally? You mean the part that everyone expected? Yeah. Yeah. I'm not gonna like this movie unless Sephiroth is a generic anime villain in it. Alright, I'm now out of ammunition. Yeah, okay. But I have this pistol. The enemy's weakening, though. This pistol sucks. So, oh wow, his melee with other weapons is way better. Ah, oh, it's faster, certainly. Fuck. Uh, it seems to not hit a lot, though. Oh, it's not nearly as much damage. Okay, it, it looks like... It looks like we're about done here. I will use the last of this shit. Oh, that worked out extremely is, is well. Is there anything crazy going on in this mission right after this elevator? I don't know. Oh, you don't know? I think okay. they just kind of hang out. Let's hope it's not like a boss fight. Oh, that'd be hilarious that if I fucked myself in this manner. We'll see. And I have one more shot to go and do. I kind of feel it's too quick to have another boss fight. You think that, but this is the game of a billion set pieces. Mm, no, it's no Marlo. Bruce. All right, I have now. We yes. trust you completely. You trust me more. <laughs> that wasn't that long. Was that 10 minutes? Come on, Maybe a little less. Damn it, Rachel. Oh, she's dead. Nah, she's fine. Nah, she's dead. They were heavy. Charlie, get out of the way! Shoot her! I will. Be careful. Somebody! Somebody! Anyone! If anyone is there listening to me! None of you, though! This is actually pretty neat. It's super neat. I haven't really seen something like this in a third person shooter before. And, like, oh, it's, it's not timed. But they are, more of them I think are it's showing like if up. They, if you, they stay on her for a certain amount of time, they will pull her off. But you're always at least killing one, so. Got it. Isn't that cool? Pretty cool. I, I think most games would just Damn have it. that be a cutscene. Oh, absolutely. Or a QTE. Yeah, yeah. Relax. I made it, didn't I? You did. <laughs> that like, was cool of you. Crazy one. Well, no, she did. she tried to grab onto the elevator as anyone would. Look at that screen! I swear to God, Dan, if you hadn't fucking Yankee doodled all over for ten minutes! Chapter 3, Bad Ground. Oh, okay, good. See, now we're in the upper city where all the cool people live. Bad terms, when you're when you're on bad terms with your Rust crew re, uh, crewmates, you oh, are on man. bad terms, and your teamwork becomes lousy. These Yankee Doodles are gonna burst out of here, oh my god, yo. Yeah. Please, Ninja Turtles! Oh. Get those pizza cancels ready, Dan. 
And these people are like, uh, "Don't panic, folks. What the fuck? We're here just inspecting the emergency escape route. <laughs> All okay? Uh, yes. Sure, everything checks out. Why don't uh, one of you try standing. speaking Japanese if you uh, can? Because none of them can. None of them can. Somehow, during so this they, this international invasion. Oh wait, because we're fighting Japan. They decided to send zero people. Maybe th so. Then they have no one. Like on the entire Rust crew. Back in my school days, circuit. I used to sit out on cafe terraces like this with a good book and read all day. What a nerd! What about you, Dan? 